Janus. No, <laughs> this is Janus, that's our bum on the cover. So. Um, I'll start with two Irish tanker. Uh, I'll translate as you go along. Uh, you know, the difference that Janus makes in your life. This is called Grandma Cree, which is a very old way of saying my heart's love. The other old word I use, which is archaic, really, is Ulastral. And Ulastral means the day before the day before yesterday. So, there you go. Why you need the term for Grandma Cree. Ulastra the Graw Gan Istan, Achnish the Graw Gachinlud Gachaat. My heart's love. The day before the day before yesterday, your love unknown to me, but now your love everything everywhere. Thank you. Keeping with the Irish, this is called Lesh is More, which sounds like Lesh is More. Uh, Lesh is a nice word in Irish, it means uh, with. It means his, it means Thai, it means naked, and I got all these meanings and threw them into the book of poems. It's called Lesh is More. Oh, be a lesh, lesh, and it's be lesh, 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 ah, some fun, and fun. And that translates as a lot is exposed. Oh, her thigh was naked, and the thigh of his was naked too. Oh, the desire, the desire. And this is I'd rather be dead only when I die. I'd rather be dead only when I die, she smiled. But for now, she laughed, you make me feel so alive. And this kiss is the only place I want to be. Let's go, I love my job. I awakened to find a naked little bum disappearing to the loo, nipping in and out of the nasty, nippy air. Bringing back a frozen derriere, my pleasure to warm. Such treasure, such an honour. I, the official number one warmer of your bum. Wonder what I've done to deserve this. Mmm, you mmm, mmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we used to go to Positano a lot and hang around naked in the sun and ride and paint and stuff like that. And the storm was brewing and... Uh, I had her dress out in the hangar, so this is called you again. Your summer dress comes to rest upon the balcony, hung up on a thin wire hanger, an exotic bird. It cries for your body, weeps at being parted from you and your curves. A pool of tears collects at the hem, as longingly it dreams of the touch of your skin, asleep now in the sun. Later that evening, frightened by the approaching storm, it tries to escape the clamour of its hanger, almost flies off beyond the reach of my hands, run away to sea, seeking for further horizons. I can it, tame its panic, fold it tenderly, carry it like a dreaming child, lay it to rest at the foot of the bed, where all night long it sleeps at your feet, awaiting your footstep, the sunshine of being you again. And this is called... <laughs> Calls me up just to curl up in my voice, kittenish, sleepish, cuddling into my words as she enters into dreams. And finally, home kind of about me is called Man of Iron. It's about dresses again. She used to have this lovely uh, Marilyn Monroe seven year itch dress, and I used to love this dress on tip. Man of Iron. My fingertips touch your dress. Remembering the first time ever, caressing your curves through it. Your body covered in its flowers. Remember undressing you. Your dress gently resting, strewn gracefully across a chair, tame now in the moonlight. Once again, tenderly, I take it, unfasten it, fingers touching its hem, and longingly, lovingly, iron it. <laughs>